I love the convergence of art, design, and scent. It's really so interesting when they all come together, and that's exactly what you get with the Roberto Greco fragrances. Now, Roberto Greco is an incredibly talented photographer based in Switzerland. You really need to look at his images. His Instagram is incredibly inspiring. And in this case, this is the second series that it has come out under his name. The first one was Oye, which means blinders. This one is called Porte Sapo, or wearing your skin. And his whole idea is introspection wearing your skin kind of like seeing through blinders brings you inward and that's the point that he's trying to make so up at the top it's called a l'objet parfumant or a perfuming object which i think is a really interesting alternative way of saying a bottle of perfume and here you go it's a limited edition 500 bottles were made and they're all signed and numbered on the card this design is just timeless. It's just so beautiful. And this scent is very much what you expect it's going to be based on the visual clues. The images you're seeing that go with this scent are Narcissus flowers, but it's kind of through a gauzy haze. And that is translated scent-wise with aldehydes. Really beautiful. There's something kind of dusty and antique about it, which I think is beautiful. There's hawthorn as well, which I think lends to that dustiness. And then in the dry down, you get to a salty ambergris musk. So that's when it becomes a little bit more human or animal, and that's when you wear your skin. And then, dare I say, I detected a little bit of vetiver in the base, although I didn't necessarily see vetiver listed anywhere. So it just might be an effect of other scents working together to get that vetiver effect. The perfumer who designed this scent is the brilliantly talented Rodrigo Flores Rue. It's just a meeting of many talented minds and I couldn't rate this higher. Porte Sapo from Roberto Greco.